kind woman found a dying lion cub while exploring in the wild. She felt sorry for her and saved the poor lion cub. Without her help, he would not have survived the night. But years later, something incredible happened something that would change a woman's life forever. Heather is just like other women. She leads an ordinary life, but loves to travel. So when she is not working, she goes hiking, camping and exploring all over the world. For Heather, it was of course a kind of love, and she liked to pursue it as much as possible. During the journey, she heard the cries of all kinds of animals some small and lovely, some big and dangerous. It's fair to say that Heather knows when and when not to investigate any animal sound she hears up close, and usually keeps her distance from any possible dangerous situation. But one day, while hiking in the mountains, she heard a sound that caught her attention and aroused her curiosity. It was a distant cry, as if an animal had lost its way or was afraid. Although she is an experienced explorer who can move on and maintain herself, this special noise touches her heartstrings. She was not entirely sure what she could not ignore, but she went against her better judgment and walked in the direction of a cry from afar. Heather ventured into an area covered with long grass. The sound is getting louder and louder, but there are obviously no animals. Suddenly, when she was scrubbing a piece of grass, she saw the small animal that was calling. Heather was shocked to find that the sound came from a kitten. It looks thin, as if it hadn't eaten for days. It is also covered with dust and dirt. The kitten is obviously unattended and can't see its mother or father. If she puts it there, it will surely die. This is part of the cycle of life, this is the cruelty of nature. This happens every day. But does that mean Heather can't get involved when she gets the chance? She reached a compromise. She will leave the kitten in its place, but if it is still there tomorrow and is still alive, she will save it and try to bring it back to health in some way. Heather is not going to give it up completely. She went back to the car and took a bottle of water and any snacks she could find. She brought everything over and put it next to the kitten. The kitten ate happily and finished its last sip. After taking away the cat litter, she stroked it on the kitten's head. In return, the kitten gave her a little cry of gratitude, as if to thank her for her kindness. When she got home, Heather couldn't sleep. She worries too much about kittens. At dawn, she went straight back to the mountain, to the exact area where she had found the little animal. To her surprise, the kitten immediately ran to her from the grass and recognized her from yesterday. It was obvious that the helpless little animal trusted Heather completely. Obviously, his mother didn't come back to take care of him. So, there's only one thing Heather can do. She picked up the kitten and took it back to her car. She drove it back to her home carefully and let the little animal walk freely in her backyard. Over the next few days and weeks, Heather established a strong and rare connection with it. Not only that, she makes sure it eats, wants, and has everything it needs to survive. Thanks to Heather's warm-hearted help, it not only survived, but also began to thrive and grow bigger and bigger. But just then, Heather made an amazing discovery. She never saved a kitten at all. Instead, she saved a dying lion cub. The cub is now as big as a puppy and looks more and more like a lion every day. Heather couldn't believe what she saw. To confirm her strong suspicions, Heather took the cub to a veterinary hospital. The veterinarian examined it and conducted some tests and quickly confirmed that the kitten was actually a male cub. They suggested that she put it back in the wild. But to be honest, Heather and the lion cub have developed a strong attachment in the past few weeks of their acquaintance. She doesn't want to be separated from this little animal yet. Sadly, the reality is that large male lions are not good pets. They are born free and destined to live in the wild with other people of their own kind. Although the two have formed a special connection, it is clear that it would be better to relocate the lion in a more suitable place. Veterinarians suggest that the best way is to send him to Africa, where he can spend his life on vast, sunny plains, join the lion herd, or even form his own. After the arrangements were made, the male lion should be carried away in just a few weeks. 
He's getting older now, and it's getting harder and harder for Heather to keep him at home. Although he is not violent or aggressive. It's just that his size is unbearable to her, and his inadvertent actions can cause a lot of damage. In spite of this, parting is never easy. When a huge friend was taken to the cage in the back of the transport truck, Heather cried and the lion gave a deep and mournful moan, similar to the sound of reminding Heather of his existence for the first time. Many years passed, and unfortunately, Heather found herself suffering from an incurable disease. The doctor only gave her a few months to live. When she thought about what she wanted to do for the rest of her time, she had no doubt about her first wish, to go to Africa to see the lion again. She wanted to check to see if he was all right, and then say goodbye. The journey from the United States was long and arduous, especially for Heather, whose physical condition made her weak. Still, she knew it was worth it, and before she realized it, she had taken a jeep with some safari keepers to the middle of the seemingly desolate plain. The sun was setting, and Heather could not see any animals, nor the sound of any animals, let alone lions. Finally, in the distance, she noticed that under a small group of trees, she recognized the shapes of seven or eight lions of different ages. There are cubs, lionesses, and a large, ferocious male. Could this be the cub she found years ago? The jeep is parked not far from the lion, and the ranger is always on the alert and on the lookout for any danger. But then Heather did something they didn't expect. She got out of the car and went to the clearing. The guards yelled at her, trying to get her back in the jeep, but it was too late. The lions were slowly approaching, and the male lion walked in front. Heather seemed unconcerned and held out her hand. To everyone's surprise, the lion moved forward slowly and cautiously, sniffing her curiously. But after sniffing Heather for a few seconds, the lion suddenly realized who she was. It let out a little roar of joy and rubbed its huge head against her weak body. The prairie keeper seemed nervous, but it was obvious that the lion remembered his old friend, and Heather himself seemed very calm and peaceful, tears of happiness running down her cheeks. Although the lion can never repay Heather for what she has done or save her from her terminal illness, it still means that she can reconnect with her old friends again. It all comes down to one day a long time ago, when Heather expressed sympathy for the little animal. Although the feelings between animals and people cannot be directly expressed in words, their behavior can always make people feel sincere feelings. Heather's kindness saved the poor little lion. The lion cubs will remember this kindness even for many years. Although they do not live together all the time, their feelings are enviable. <laughs>